Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. So if you use Cricut Design Space, you've probably noticed some changes lately. In June, possibly July 2022, you've probably got a Design Space update that took away the handles on the sides of images, text, etc. It also added a text wrap feature. So I thought I would go through the changes, the text wrap feature and how to use it, and some things that I've noticed about the update that you might like. So let's dive into Cricut Design Space and take a look at the new Design Space changes. So let's take a look at some of the changes. So first of all, I'm gonna put a shape into Cricut Design Space and you'll see the shape comes in and it has four boxes on the side. So now let's take a look at what it used to look like. Here you can see a shape in the way it used to look. So it used to have four what they called handles on the side to lock, delete, rotate, and resize. This meant, however, that you could only resize from one corner. So now let's take a look at how it changed and how to do each of the functions that the handles used to do. So here's the box in Cricut Design Space. And first of all, when I just click it, you can see that I can move it around. When it changes to a double arrow, I can click, hold, and drag to resize any object. Now there are four corners, so I can do this from any side. As long as it changes to the double arrow. Now how do you rotate? To rotate, you move to the box in the corner and then move slightly past and it will change to a curved arrow. Once it changes to the curved arrow, you can click, hold, and then move your mouse to rotate. So one trick here is to hold the shift key down on your computer while you rotate and it will go in increments so that way you can get it perfectly straight. So that is a tip in case you want to do a specific angle. And again, you can rotate from any corner as well. So just move it out enough where it becomes a curved arrow and you can rotate. So on any of these corners, I can just move it out and rotate. If you want a specific angle, you can still just type it into the box in the top toolbar. So if I wanted a say 70 degree angle, I would just type that into this box. So you can still do that. Now, how do you delete something? Because the delete or trash can is gone. A few ways you can do that. You can click delete over here on the right. You can right click and delete from this menu. And you can also hit backspace or delete directly on your keyboard and it will delete it. So that last way is actually my favorite way because I enjoy keyboard shortcuts, but if you don't, you can use one of the other methods. Now, what about that lock and unlock button? So you used to be able to unlock it in order to resize it and not keep these same dimensions. So right now my box is 3.75 approximately square, but what if I wanted to make it a rectangle? The lock button is now only in the top toolbar. So it is locked right now. And by default, it is locked whenever you add a shape or an image into Cricut Design Space. So if you want to distort that, you would have to click it to unlock the proportions. Then you could type exact proportions into these text boxes, or again, just hover over the square until it makes an arrow and then drag it. And now you can distort it and it does not stay the same dimension. So you can expand or contract in either direction to make the shape that you would like. So the same thing that applies to shape also applies to images, whether that's a Cricut Design Space image or an image that you upload. The handles will no longer appear around the outside. You will have these boxes you hover over in order to resize, lock and unlock is at the top, and delete again multiple ways on the right toolbar, right click, or the keyboard shortcuts. So you can still do all the functions you used to do, you just need to do them a different way. So now let's take a look at text. So we'll just click text in the left toolbar. And you can just start typing when it comes up. Or if you have clicked off of it and it looks something like this, you would just double click to start typing or right click and edit text and start typing what you want. Now, the same handle scheme is on this with all of the handles. However, with text, you get four additional handles. So it's not just on the corners. On the corners, you can still hover, resize. You could hover curved arrow, rotate. Again, the delete and lock are in the same position as before. But with text, you can also do text wrapping with these extra handles. So if I squeeze the handle in on the side, you'll see that my text wraps. So now it will wrap around. Now, what if I wanted that off? So I did not want the text to wrap at all. I wanted it to stay the same. You can click alignment and you can turn the wrap off. So at any point you can turn the wrap on or off 
using the alignment button. Now what happens if I expand this text box this way? You can see the box got bigger, but the text did not. So this is gonna be useful in a lot of your designs because now you can click alignment and you can actually align that text to the top, the bottom, or the default would be the center. So now when you're designing and you want a little extra space on either side, you can use the text box to do that if you would like. So this is sort of an additional feature in Cookie Design Space that they did not have before. Now text does work the same way. So I can change my font here to any font I would like. I can still resize by using the font size instead of these corner pieces. So you'll notice when I change the font size, now that I've resized the bounding box size, the bounding box does not change. So I would need to resize this box again if I wanted it to fit this new size of text. So you could change the box size at this point to match my new font size. So now let's talk about another feature that I happen to notice, and I'm not sure how long this has been around, but I just picked a script font. So this is just a Cricut font, changed my text to welding text. You can see that it's still text, so I can still alter it. While each of these letters is individual, they don't have cut lines in between the letters if I click make it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click make it. And here you can see my design on my mat and you can tell there's no cut lines between the letters. So now when you do scripted text, you don't have to weld your word anymore. Cricut Design Space is actually doing it for you. Now, I do not know if this is only Cricut fonts, so if you upload a font, I'm not sure if it'll work, but you might give it a try before you go welding the fonts. I always just click make it and then zoom in really close using these buttons here, and I'm able to tell if there's a cut line or not. So hopefully you learned a little something about the changes in Design Space and how to do all those things you used to do in Design Space without getting confused. Now, if you have any questions about a feature that you particularly have seen that might be new, that I haven't covered yet, drop down in the comment section, ask any questions you have, or anything I did cover and you have questions about, drop down. I'm happy to shoot another video with any changes I missed on this one. If you like this video, if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me today and learning all about the new Cricut Design Space changes and that text wrap feature that I personally am going to enjoy. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.